Ok. So, we're a little short staffed right now. <clears throat> but, uh, we're ready. Aren't we? Total. Is that way we have so many people so we can continue when we're missing three? Yeah, this part is going to be a little sticky with being short. Two, possibly one. And that's why, like I said. But, let's go ahead and say welcome to uh, episode 30 of uh, Princes of the Apocalypse. Down in a hole. And I hope we, uh, I hope you guys don't die. Let me bring that's you to the map. Alright. So, who wants to give me a short little recap of where we left off last week? Or the week before last? I think last Forgot. week was when we killed that big worm-looking thing. The Roper? Thing yeah. No, not, not this thing that we just killed. We, like, killed the big thing in the other chamber. Oh, the Abolith. Yeah, the Abolith. And then um, we like left the chamber, went back into the main like area that we had come in from, except for Nimbus, who went for you know a little, a little swim, a little swimmy swim, and uh, we went up the stairs to the north and uh, murdered a bunch of Murloc-looking things who are performing some sort of ritual, fed mm -hmm. them the fishes. And then we uh, came back down, went around this corner, reunited with Nimbus, and we killed some of those big slug things on the ceiling. And came across the Roper, who we also killed. Murder, murder, death, kill. Yeah, it was a big murder fest last week. With the ultimate murder of us. <clears throat> Alright. That kind of brings us back. Ooh, there's a crawler. Hello. Hello, sir. Just in time. We just got done with the recap. Okie dokie. So. Standing in this uh, cavern system. Once again. The corpse of the uh, roper is. Uh, lying dead on the floor. Uh, you are. Uh. Once again, about ankle deep for some, waist deep for others, in some water. Uh, where would we like, or what would we like to do? I guess keep moving south. Just keep um, swimming. Did we search the body of this thing? Big thing? The big one? Um, I think think Wub attempted to, but it was just hello, like hello. a big hulking body, but I cannot remember, to be completely honest. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. I know we talked about it, but I don't remember. Yeah. Did, did you check it. his prison pocket? Exactly. I was oh. gonna say, if nobody did, let's, let, 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 let's, I guess, try to loot the body, just for brevity's sake. Uh, here or won't. You guys are welcome to that. <laughs> I doubt there's gonna be anything to loot. I mean, it's a, it's a large creature, but... We did kill the creature, and, um, there were four, five worms with it that we killed. I know, it seems like four? such a long time. One of them fled. We killed three of them, and then one of them fled. Right. That's right. That's right. One of them did flee. And, and uh, but, here's going to take that to mean that there is an exit somewhere over here, so... But I believe mm. that's about it, because mm -hmm. it was kind of a hefty combat scenario. Yeah. Right. Um, and as you guys are just, you know, standing, looking around, and uh, Crowley, you're able to get, uh, or Wub, you're able to get uh, four of your bolts back uh, out of the uh, uh, yes. body of the uh, Roper. Um, however, they're covered in this... Um, greenish ichor um kind of slimy um and as you guys are kind of making your way through the rest of the way down this way there is 
uh, the sound of a. Would it take me to clean the arrows, the bolts that I got back. You can just wipe them off on any cloth you have. Okay, awesome. Um, me being me, I'm just gonna do it on like my pant leg, just nonchalant. And uh, with that, um, you uh, as you begin getting closer, coming down this way, you do begin hearing uh, the sound of a uh, waterfall again. Um, however, this one is seems to be like multi late multi leveled. Uh, you know, there's a lot of crashing, falling, crashing, falling, crashing, falling. Hmm. I don't know how we're going to get down that. Yeah. I mean, um. Hira and Boris are liable to drown if the water is too deep. Didn't we have a boat at one point? Yeah, yes. we left it all the way back there. But I mean, how do you take Does a... It freaking boat down a waterfall especially if there's multi multiple layers like you're right. just gonna break does it, boat. does it seem like going through the water is our only way forward i don't think so unless Wasn't you want to go back we had two paths to go down we only we went down one or did we go down both well That's okay so there's the a waterfall DM, i couldn't remember there's a waterfall this way, and then back in the other chamber where, where we killed the Abolith, there was another waterfall. That's when Nimbus went down. So that was another way we could have oh. gone. And I think the other waterfall in that room went up, so that would have been more difficult. Like, we could, like, theoretically go back if we found a way to go up a waterfall. But mm -hmm. um, I think there were about two ways forward, and they both involved waterfalls. So. Yes. Wouldn't it be nice to have Nimbus right now? Um, Yet again, Ninda screws us. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna pipe up. If this is the only way forward, I might have a way I can make it so we can all breathe underwater for up to 24 hours. You already had did that. that. You already did that last did session. That? Yeah. Yeah, you did that last session. Oh well, there we go. We ain't worried about drowning. I totally forgot about that actually, dude. Here and oh, Wolf that's just right, because the water got up to like my chin level, and Wolf was just like, "Nope, breathe water." Here and Boris are about to just be walking on like the <laughs> bottom of the, of the, yeah. freaking water. I forgot. Wolf, Wolf definitely got scared of drowning instantly for no reason. He was like, "All right, breathe water on everybody." <laughs> okay, so the thing is, though, if we go down this waterfall. We, we don't, don't know have... if we can get back up. Yeah, we don't really. Yeah. And breathing water doesn't necessarily mean that we won't fall to. As I say, you, know, um, you, you can breathe in the water, but if you, you know, hit your head on a sharp rock, you hit your head on a sharp rock while breathing water. It doesn't. Yeah. That doesn't help you. Well, let's go investigate this waterfall. See if we can figure out a way down. Unless you guys want to go back to the other room and go down that way. But I think Nimbus said something about um, she saw something really big. Mm -hmm, and she yeah. turned around, so... Yes, he did. Sorry. <laughs> Nimbus's gender still confuses me. <laughs> yeah, but he wasn't- yes. he was not very descriptive about whatever the creature was. Just something large, and he ran. And we were like, alright, cool. It's just because Nimbus is, like, really delicate. Nimbus has also not been as trustworthy as they- Yeah, he like could I said, be, so. yet, yet again, Nimbus screws us. Yeah, so it's either we go this way, or we go back, and we go back the way Nimbus went. But I thought there was two options for us. Nimbus... We might as well scout up ahead. See what we can see, see how far down this waterfall goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, um, unfortunately, because of how deep the water is, uh, this little island right here is probably as far as what can go. If I'm be Actually, does you the water have a bear stay to ride on? Five feet deep? Okay, you're fucking right. <laughs> my bad. You have some shoulders right. you can, uh... <laughs> it's been a few weeks, alright? Get off my back, damn it. How is, how is the <laughs> and get on his. Get on my back, damn it! How is the current? <laughs> as I so, get closer to the waterfall. So, there is a pull. However, uh, with Hera's height, it only comes up to the uh, tops of your greaves. Um, so only about two and a half feet at this point. Um... But it, the water is moving relatively quickly. 
uh, but not enough. Uh, at this point, you do see um, a small school of tiny white fish kind of move through the shallows and dart away into some crevices in the uh, backs of the... Uh, uh, before the waterfall, and you do see uh, glittering coins. Um, at the, uh, or basically at your feet. Oh, so people died here. Or they throw wishes. Uh, I don't think this is that kind of place, Adram. I'm, uh, I'm happy for your optimism, though. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Um, Told I know you I wasn't just we're not there on the map, but I would assume, um, I'm so cute. <laughs> I would assume that, um, Ed and I are right here. Sorry, um. Yeah. Wow, I'm drawing a blank on names right now. Zuya. Zuya, wow. Zuya, Nimbus. There, I, I moved Hira, myself over to Adrana. where you are. Boris. Torin. Torin. Ah, Torin. I got him. Yeah. Took a minute. Wow. I'm terrible with names. I'm sorry. You guys know this. Who are you? Not really. You're right? What's my name again? Um, technically, Jesus. maybe Kyle can play as Torin and he can give us, like, Featherfall and we can just all jump off the side. Hmm. Um, That's let me check. Prepared. No. I was. I don't think he has that prepared. We're all only. Well, no, we are. In, um. He used it. Level. He used it a couple times ago. Yeah, but he's oh, also a wizard, right. or he's also a, a wizard that has to prepare his spells each day, and yeah, he may not I'm have this say, have it prepare prepared each day individually. Hence, why I said if Kyle plays, he can check. Gosh, it's... guys. <laughs> Well, yeah, and, but since his spells are already prepared for the day, it's not a new day. Kyle can't just add a new spell to his list, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But but it might be prepared. Well, I will... That's what I'm saying. Here, I'll, I'll meet you halfway, John, and I'll check and see if it's prepared. But, once again, I'm not playing as Torin. I'm not saying you have to, I'm just saying... Let's see. Torin would give us all Featherfall, and since you are the the DM that can check his sheet, he can see if it's prepared. It is well, not, actually. Technically, Wubba can spider climb. Oh, I can't spider climb, but I can give myself a fly speed of 10 feet for one minute. Well, that's just as good. So I could essentially just take a whole minute to fly up and down this waterfall, depending on how tall it is. So, uh... here you go. I'll describe what you're looking at. So this waterfall that you're standing in front of now goes down about uh, 35 feet. Um, and it is kind of a sloped waterfall. So there is a point where you look down and you do see it crash into a small pool, overflow, gr fall into another pool, fall into another pool. It, seeming like every... Uh, there's two pools going down, um, and each one is about 15 feet apart from the from the other. Um, you know, a little bit too far of a distance to risk jumping, but there is um, several. Uh... Give me perception, please. All of us. Mm -hmm. Well, here, freaking just looks to the side real quick, and there is uh, and well, there's a. Uh several rocks on the walls um a, on the side of this uh waterfall that you think would be able to uh support your weight if you tied yourself off to mm. okay we can do that so who wants to brand just the rope uh probably Wolf doesn't actually have the rope that you start with it's too heavy <laughs> I feel like Ed would be the best to tie a rope. With his teeth? Ed's a bear. Oh, right, he's a bear Ed, Ed is literally a bear. We can try, but... Puts uh, a massive paw on it and like... Ah, ah, well, what does, it take, what does it take to tie a rope? 
hands, opposable thumbs. Yeah, really, there's no skill for it. Yeah, You're okay. an adventurer, so you would know so how to tie a decent knot. Okay, 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 I'll do my rope, I'll do my rope. I was gonna... We know general... It, it, it's weird, but yeah. generally we know, I'm like, climbing... Uh, climbing uh, survival. I know how to tie ropes. Knots, crazy yeah. Shit like that. All right, Boris ties the rope like a pro. There you go. You know what? Ex as an executioner, I'll believe it. I'll take that. Perfect. He knows a lot about knots. You know what I'm saying? Oof. Oh, no. Ties a all right. Boris ties a perfect hangman knot around his, his own neck. He's like, all right, guys, I'm ready. <laughs> the first one's a big ass slip knot, and Wub's just like, no, no. Okay. All right, so Kira, once the rope is tied, Hero will go first. All right. So I will need, seeing as you're doing this with uh, roped, um, I will need a uh, athletics. Perfect. She does. She does a freaking pirouette like Nimbus. It's like this is, be acrobatics. this is for you, Nimbus. All right, so you're able to uh, zip line down the first 15 feet, land in the uh, second or the first pool. The oh, and you just went big again. Hell yeah! Should no. Dynamo. No. She I should have saved and... that. I didn't realize that this freaking dungeon was down. so huge. And down again. And you're now standing in a uh, even larger room. Alright. Who's next? Boris successfully brings yourself down. Yeah. I don't know if I'm in the same map lighting area as you. It's pretty dark. Okay. I, but I slid. Okay, yeah. I, I don't have light from my weapon anymore. Uh, so I you should. Who's next? Here it calls. And. I'm going to look well, at. What was essentially Lubba. just keeping watch for the rest okay. of the group to go first? Because sure. I can just I'll give it a make shot. myself fly down again. Athletics it is. I was going to toss down the rope for you guys, and then, you know what I mean? As Hira makes oh, this call, the bear. Uh, a... How is the bear getting down? Bears are... Something's happening. One, one bridge at a time. Uh, bears are pretty good at handling uh, waterfalls. Bears always land <laughs> But um, at here, as you make this call, there is a spear that comes flying from behind you. Oh fuck! A eighteen doesn't hit you. No. All right, so it sinks into the water, um, in the uh, square beside you. I uh, was gonna kind of kind of yelp and be like, "We've got friends." Okay. Hey, friends. It's funny because at the top of the waterfall, we probably can't hear shit, Zuya. Or you, it's it's short where enough that you I, can. Where am I in? Oh in shit! The of we that. can. Okay. Um. Did you go down the road or rope yet, Adrom? Yeah, I rolled it. I rolled an eighteen. Okay. So you. you make uh make your way down just or effortlessly. Um, make your way down just as the spear goes right past you. You go, oh fuck. <laughs> so Here's me. I Son need. <laughs> shit. <laughs> the three of you. To roll me initiative. A drum, you get a plus four. Oh, wait. Hold on. Fuck. Uh -oh. All right. There we go. All right. Is it changing, oh, wow. y'alls? Yeah, it changed it. Good. Delete. 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 Twenty-five. That's the first time here has used her uh, ability on me. Well, you were right next to me. I know. I like to use it on the magic casters if I can, and the torn isn't here. Okay. Dodger, dodger. So, just to describe this area a little bit for all of you until the rest of you start coming down. 
Um, the ceiling of this large water-filled cavern is about 30 feet above the water surface. In the middle of the cavern are two rocky plateaus that rise 20 feet above the water. Atop each plinth uh, crouches a humanoid with slimy, translucent skin. Um, the water flows uh, towards the southeast, where you hear an even larger thunderous waterfall. Um, in here, the water is only about five feet deep. Um, the uh, walls of the plateau are wet and rough. And this is where, once again, this person up here steps forward and brings him, or brings himself into uh, or brings herself into view uh, and pulls another uh, spear off of her back. Here's gonna be like, halt! Who goes there? That's my question. <laughs> Speaking common? Yes. So you just throw spears at any visitors? Visitors, I don't think so. Like, have I done anything to hurt you yet? Yes. Oh. We killed everyone do? they know. To be fair, they attacked me first. A drum. What are we doing, sir, while they're making this playful conversation? Um, how deep is this water? Five feet. Five feet? Aye. So we're like one, um, and it's like up to almost That's October. too fucking deep. <laughs> I am going to, um, which I'm pretty sure is, um, I can kind of say quiet enough. <clears throat> I'm going to hex this person. Give me a sleight of hand while they're distracted. Sure. I thought hex was the silent thing. Like, you could just do it. Is yeah, it? It's it's it says verbal, but I'm pretty sure it's not like I command you. Like it's more of just like a we're, we're gonna not be good at charisma. But... All right, verbal verbal is generally to say whatever incantation a spell requires. But yeah, uh, but I don't have to like shout it. Mm -hmm. like the waterfall yeah. running and yeah, just saying it. You know, muttering should still be fine. All yep. right, and what as are you uh? Um, I'm gonna do. Um, constitution. Okay. Nice. Um, so that is a bonus action spell. And I know for a fact that um, I can't do it now because it's a bonus Hi. action. But I can tink five damage. And that is unknown to the enemy. It just kind of like drains them mentally and they don't realize it. Um, but I can't do that the second. Oh. So bonus action, spell, and I can still do a cantrip, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to take a step out. Glad you could join the, us. Uh, speed again for this. Is one square ten feet? Yes. Well, five foot of water is anymore now. Aw, thanks for the host. I appreciate that. Difficult terrain? It would be difficult terrain. That's where the ten or ten feet is coming from at this mo at this point. Okay. So there's there's thirty feet. And how high is this ledge? About uh 30 feet up. Let me go oh. back to my notes. Oh. Uh. Wait. 20, or, just... yeah, 20 feet. Rise rise above 25, or 20 feet. Can Hira ask who these people are? Oh, you know exactly who they are. You don't have to ask. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to yell out as really? my hand um, kind of starts glowing. Um. You can put down your weapons, and we won't have to do this the messy way. <laughs> no. And she whistles. And you hear a, uh... Ooh, that's a good hit. 
Roll me some damage. Yeah, these people know who we are. They know we've massacred, like, literally everybody we've come across, right? Why and? are they not more scared? And? I guess they're 14. cultists, you know? They're a little 14 zealous. 14 points of damage. They've, they've killed everyone they came across, too. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of say, as the firebolts flying through the air, <sighs> senseless killing. Oh, well. And then, bam, smacks her. Her? Him? Edward, it? Her. No. Her. It's still black, like the token's black. I can't see it. Ah. Uh. Like, it's because of the, the land. That's why I was asking for the feedage. Yeah. Zuya, let's go. Well, what? You haven't even rolled yet. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. not in initiative. He asked for initiative from you three. We're not down there yet. Yeah, at this point, you guys could have made it down. At this point, yeah, you guys could I'm... make it, or it could be, or would be able to make it down. Okay. So, okay. but I, I can't, I can't move on my own. So that's why I've been waiting. Yeah, I, I, I was just waiting leave. for us to be told we could do things. Yep, uh, you're good. Uh, okay, can I? So we're rolling to get down the rope. Like, how am I getting down the rope as a bear? Uh, that would be a. Uh... I think you just eat yourself off the edge, to be honest. For you, seeing as you're not actually using the rope, it would be a dexterity check. I was gonna say, if I were the DM, personally, bears are fucking, bears are sturdy fucking creatures, let's be honest. This is not that tall of a waterfall from what Kyle yeah, said. Yeah, and I'm, like, I think it would be fair to say tall. you could jump down to the ledge that is, like, halfway down the waterfall, and then jump down to the bottom of the waterfall. Right, and that's why I said do a... While making that check. That's why I said do a dexterity check instead of yeah. athletics. Yeah, and I'm, like... 15 feet long or something, so... Bro, See the, the dex check, come on down. The question now is, does Wub ride the bear jumping down, or That'd does so Wub cool. take the rope? Sir, sir, do you down. Know, as, as he's jumping down, he, Wub, like, draws an arrow and... <laughs> I was gonna say, I think it would be kind of cool to stay on top of the bear, and, like, as we're falling down, shoot at the people that I saw throw a spear at my fucking friends. You know what I'm saying? That's DM's uh, decision, because that would be a cool RP moment. Uh, also, otherwise, you'd have to swim. Back. I'll give it to you. Because there if is you can, a hey, there I'll is say, a on Zuya's back. Hey, if you or if Zuya succeeds his dexterity check, and you can succeed a, uh, there isn't a ride yeah. skill. A slide of hand. Which is odd, but it would animal handling. Animal handling. Animal yeah. handling. Yes. <laughs> you can uh, succeed in an animal handle. Can you handle? But that? at it would be at advantage because he's a uh, friendly. Yeah. Friendly. Yeah. So for that a dexterity awesome. check, that's just rolling my what? So you see on your sheet where it uh you have the square that it says saving throws, and then yeah. you have the actual stats across the top. Yeah. You just click on the stat across the top where it says dex. Like, like the That's what I thought. Three. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. Well, Wubba's dead. Do you... <laughs> What's the bear's stats? Do you not have that uh -oh. pulled up? You are in a bear form. Yeah, the bear's dex is 12. Okay, so that would still be a... That'd still be a plus 2. Um, that sucks. Hey, it happens. Uh, I don't know why mine didn't go through. Can't Damn. always do super cool. Do you shit. have your or do you have uh your the Beyond Twenty linked up? Yeah, the last one worked. I don't know. Advantage. Try again. There it goes. Okay. I, I don't know why it won't work for me. I don't know why it won't work for me to roll with advantage, but whatever. Huh. Um. There it there goes. It goes. Okay. Oh, shit, I'll take that. I'll take a nat 20. So, uh, we'll, uh, throw some of those points, or throw the, um, the dexterity, or the, uh, Zoya, you kind of, as you jump down, you kind of lose your footing a little bit on the first ledge, but you're able to catch yourself and land, uh, in the pool with the rest of your party, um, with the help of, uh, 
Wub kind of like step here, step here, step here. Uh, Got a two eing him. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> and if you want Wub, give fire off a shot. Oh shit! Hell yeah. Remember, her constitution is affected. If that means anything to anybody. Oh my gosh! Oh, no. You birthday, birthday luck. No, so how do you want to do this? Oh my gosh! <laughs> right through the neck. Right as she's coming up with the witty comeback. Here's her lips. Shut. I want to hit her right through the neck, and then have the spectral arrow hit her right in the head. And then because I have piercer, I. Uh, a lot of damage is about to be rolled. This is about to be nasty. Oh, so we're just rolling damage to see how gory it gets, right? Yeah. How much <laughs> How much liters of blood are lost? All of them. How much of, how much of her skull is recognizable? None of it. Let's Boris's see. hands That's are twitching. A... Like, I need to kill. So that'll Boris be, uh, well I think... Five. It, yeah, that's 2d8 plus 6 from the weapon itself, 9 plus 6, so I'm at 15, and then plus the 1d8 from the spectral arrow. Bam, that comes from the enchanted bow that the wizard gave me, and it's cool as hell. Wub loves it. I feel like I've never used it before. And then I think because of Piercer, well, yeah, you when you to roll a critical hit, you roll an extra um, damage yeah. die determining the piercing damage the target takes. So you're up to 20 yeah. right now. So then that'll be another D8. Oh. Okay, a 2. Hey, still, that's extra damage. But then, just because, I'll add, oh, I rolled a 1, but I'll add my swarm to it. That's 20. All off a of bear's back. <laughs> well, he had the height advantage. You know? Right? Down from above. All right. I didn't get super high numbers. Got got some low rolls there, but that's all right. So as this arrow flies, or this uh, crossbow fly or bolt flies, and uh, a uh, second uh, spectral one uh, kind of before the uh, recoil from your... Uh, crossbow hits it flies off as well um the first one lands in the uh vocal cords mid whistle of this reaver and the second one plants itself firmly in the uh or the spectral cr bolt plants itself in the forehead of the reaver and she falls forward and there is a loud crunching and cracking sound as she basically hits every possible rock on the way down. Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Jeez, Kyle. Boris gives a a high five. <laughs> Yikes. I tried. And that brings us... That's the attack all night. To Boris. Two net toys in a row. Well, I'll take so that. I've had that, that much luck in a long time. Kill? Hmm? Is there even anything left to kill? <laughs> there is. Thank you, We're still in combat. Beyond, for the birthday rolls. <laughs> Where are they? So, you do, uh, you do begin to hear the, uh, water around the, uh, second plateau in the back. Uh, begin to rustle, and these two darkened shadows begin moving in, and they uh, stand up in the shallower water. Do you want initiative from uh, me and Zuya? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Whoa! Big crabby boys. Oof. You hate to see it. Oh, shit! And let me go back. Ah! I got an eight. Wrong. Hell yeah. Go back. There we go. Got it. There I am. It's 
Sorry, I had to adjust the uh, initiative order. No, it's not good. Where are these two fairway boys? I'm sc I'm scare roused. There, there's one to the southeast and one to the southwest. Uh, oh, yeah. You, you can Boris, reach this just... one oh. for sure. Yeah. yeah. If you want, if you want to split up Boris, you take one, I can take the other. Yeah. Uh, actually, with the movement thing, you wouldn't. You'd have to do a full. What are those, what are those weird? What are those torch marks on the map? That's a new yeah, thing. Roll twenty just added. You can actually like place a torch whenever it's too dark. What? That's amazing. Yep. yep. Like you physically put a torch on the map. Okay. Yep. Yep. Cool. I'll take it. Surprise. Wow. Wow. I like it. So are we limited to like half movement because of difficult terrain? Yes. Then we have. That's like that would be like one square then, right? Do we have dungeoneering? No, because each square is once again fit or once again five feet. <clears throat> mm. we have oh, I thought because it was like one, weird the size. Two. Yeah, we have we have dungeon delver. Three. Yeah, we can walk through. Shit like that. Oh, we, ooh. Dungeon Delver only advantage on wisdom and perception. You have advantage on saving throws and traps. You have uh, resistant to damage dealt by traps and traveling path or at a fast pace doesn't imp uh, impose. Yeah, that doesn't say anything about yeah, not removing really the difficult tra terrain. The tra the tra I thought the traveling. No, no, and not. then my difficult terrain only has to do with plants and my favorite terrain, which a dungeon, a flooded dungeon is not my favorite terrain. It's my favorite terrain. Ooh, woo. Love you. That's <laughs> disgusting. You'd, you'd like it too much and want it too often. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait. What am I fucking Christ. One, am I only allowed to move one square? No. no each you... square is ten. No. Okay. Yeah, each... Counts as ten. Because of how small we are, one space in front of us is five feet. Like, where here it is, where here it is, is ten feet in front of us. With full movement, I believe as a bear you have what forty feet of movement. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you could move five, ten, fifteen. You could move right here. Yeah, so one square is ten feet instead of five. And then we're at half movement because of difficult terrain. Kind of Basically, I, I wish it had the like extra quadrants there, but if you could picture smaller squares in each of these big squares there, those so... would be the five feet indicators for us. Oh God, dang it! That's why we're stuck oh. in the top corner of our squares. Because <laughs> they're all huge as fuck. Well, hello there, Mayo. We're in a big map. Mayo. Thank you, Kristen. Hey. Hey, Kristen. So, so, anyway, just to refresh your mind on this ruling that I made just a minute ago. Each square is once again five feet. But you are in difficult terrain. So, if you use your little ruler thing, the squares will re reflect five feet. Right? Right. Right. But you can only use half your movement. Because you're in difficult terrain. Smart. So, if your movement... Smart, my dumbass would have to be over here or something. What's yeah, your movement speed? 30, so... I you're just making it easier here. for us to do it instead of doing it 10 feet you're just making us have our movement speed okay yeah so if your movement speed is 15 and you were here boris then there you could go 30. 5 10 15 yep there you go. all right or take a full action and double your movement speed or take a full so action there... no. i'd let him come to you but zuya's not you... talking you can prepare you can prepare an attack if it does come closer yeah like ready ready a, a swing with your yeah ready in action what was that uh, Zuya? there's trouble at the well or you can use your full movement or you can use your full movement thank you for the follow hawker or you can use your full movement to get sorry to yeah and show up with nothing left to do i'm not gonna do that i'm not sitting here and brace Okay. Uh, John or uh, Zoya? Sorry, I don't. I was reading chat. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bad. 
Julia's turn. Mm hmm. Can't talk, goddammit. Come some and, slack. <laughs> and, Joan, uh, Kristen says she misses you. Aww. Well, she called you. She called you John, as in like the white John Smith. Yes. <laughs> Not the French John that you are, the Don't exotic sexual being. Call me French. I am Italian. The Jean. I'm Italian. <laughs> Oof. Jean. <laughs> He's like I am proudly Italian, not French. Yes, not French. You know I can understand that. I would much rather be Italian than French. French people are gross and stinky. Honestly. Oh, wow. wow. Shots fired. Ah. Of course not from the French. Is, <laughs> is he? Racist. Is he? Is he French? Who? So, oh. oh well, no! Just the way she looked back, I was like, "Wait, is he French?" I yeah. Think yeah he is. No. Oh Joe shit! Is a Frenchman. No, Fuck. you're good. I'm going to Wait, ready. Like, he's an actual I... Frenchman. No, what? his dad is from. His dad is from France, though. Oh, what? Wait, what? That's cool. Huh. My mom is from Germany. That Same ass. boat. Huh. What do you got, Zuya? I'm gonna ready uh, an attack if it comes close. Okay. Works for me. Fair enough. I left poor, uh, is... <laughs> I left poor Wub. Well, Wub would... Well, technic oh, technically Wub's on top of me, so... Yeah. Dude, I've, got, I've got range for days, you're good. Yeah, yeah but you, yeah. you could still be on top of him if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, exactly, technically yeah. Still on him. Yeah. Free movement. Yeah, it's John, as in G-I-A-N. <laughs> Is my mute not working when I do that? Yes, I think it's working. Okay. But, Hira, it is your turn. Okay. And apparently, uh, Hira wants to know any good French insults. Who? Kristen, you mean? No, I'm yeah. asking. Hira wants to, wants, or wanted to ask my chat if there's any, if you guys know any good French insults. Oh. And sing. I'm always confused. And by French insults, I mean insults against French people. Oh, okay. I didn't <laughs> see that. In, uh... <laughs> no one understands. It's like, do you want to duel? Oh, sorry, you're already going to give up. The only thing the French can uh, host is an invasion. Lord. <laughs> How'd that chromatic orb do for you? Not very well. All right, where are you throw? You're uh, aiming it at the chul. Yes. The big crab creature. Oh, here I'll. Here you go. This crab is one up the rock. People, crab people. Why are you on Chill. our side? Why didn't you go to the other side? How does that Teamwork look? Makes the dream work. Isn't this a beautiful yeah, little creature? Side. Why didn't you yeah. go Doesn't this thing look beautiful? Course. All of us on this side is the dream work. See, I on that. Like, I thought I, pre I had to go to spells to press it and it would come up in the description, and now it rolled. Damn. No, it did you roll. The, you had rolled you know a 10. Yeah, I know. I didn't realize it was going to already roll. So fuck. You know what the first oh. rule of D&D is? This is not Scooby-Doo. Do not split the party, gang. <laughs> Let's split up, gang. Like Boris. No, Boris Let's can handle himself. Boris, so, oh, that's true. But like a giant bear, a drum, and Wub, I think we're good. No, Wub, I think... Wub, Wub agrees with everybody being together. Wub is oh, afraid. Yeah. These are some very large, large creatures that could literally devour Wub with one chomp. He is afraid. Solve it that way, then. Don't worry, I don't, I'm not I don't friend. have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot walk here. Him. So the ten will not hit uh, the chul. Anything else from Hera? No, sir. Okie dokie. With a surprising and uh, acrobatic leap, a... Uh, torch moves uh the other 
Reaver in the back lands on this kind of uh, alcove of the second <clears throat> peninsula and is going to uh, yeet one of her spears at Hera. The biggest target. Uh, 22. Yes, you did. Fat shamed. Fat shamed. Terrible. And let's see. That is going to be uh, 12 points of damage. All right. And that brings us to the bear locked Wubba Lubba. Bear walk Wubba Lubba. All right. As a bonus action, I'm going to put my Hunter's Mark on El Chula Vista. <laughs> that means lobster in Spanish. I don't think it does. Of You're course, wrong. San Diego <laughs> means a whale's vagina. No, it yeah, doesn't. It's been, it's been lost to the, to the ages. It's been lost to the ages. Scholars don't actually know what it means. Doesn't it mean Saint Diego? No, nah. that doesn't make sense. Ridiculous. We'll have to agree to disagree. Yeah. When in Rome, you are so high right now. Aren't you? When in Rome, I am fucking half asleep. Okay, then that's what it is. Cause you look so, you look out of it. Um, I I am dead. You know what? I'm going to take one shot at the chul. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and roll that guy. Boop, boop. Hey, does a 28 hit the chul? It does. Awesome. I will roll that damage. Bam. I'll do nine damage to him, and then I will do an extra d6 from my... um. Hunter's Mark. Oop, only one. So 10 damage to him. Okay. Okay. And, um, yeah, sweet. I'm so going to she is uh, 25 feet up in the air as well, but that cool. still is inside your range. Yeah, because I got like 60 feet minimum. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm going to shoot. Uh -huh. The dumb lady. Oh. So. I'm the dumb lady. <laughs> Act me all along. <laughs> so. There it. That actually hits. What? They have wow. a. They have a low AC. Wow. Oh, shit. My existing AC. Got him. I ain't mad. Roll that damage. Nice, got a 10. And then I'm going to hit him with my swarm. So it's going to do a do decent two, well, another well, one. Well. Son of a bitch! We love you, baby. 11 damage, though. That's all right. You, you need to set the up swarm in your D&D Beyond so it rolls better, because roll Honestly, 20 is not giving like you three good ones, shit. It's like three ones with the swarm in a row. I'm, I'm a little disappointed. All Set right. it up in D and D Beyond. Seriously, it's. I think it's if you click the the numbers in D and D Beyond where it says, um, swarm. It should work yeah. for you. Yeah. If it has, if it says one d six, then you can click where it says one d six, like here. Oh, the target takes one d six. Wait, what? Like I just here. Click the number. Like click that. Yep. There you go. There you go. What? That's better. F rule twenty. Bunch okay. of bitches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, roll 20. You suck. Got him. <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> See, you gotta roll that way. DM magic. Alright, All right. so, um, my turn. I will move here. I'm going What's to... that about not splitting up? I, guys, don't worry about it. <laughs> Worst case scenario, yeah, yeah, my Eldritch Blast yeah. has 120 feet. I'm hey, Gucci. As far, uh, as far as Wub is concerned, worst case scenario, we all get fucking eaten. Uh, okay, well, that's a thing. 
Yeah, um, it is. Yeah, my Firebolt and Eldritch Blast are both 120 feet. I can be on top of the waterfall and still be doing good. Pew, pew. Right. So I'm going to bonus action uh, the Hex over to here. This okay. gentleman. And... We'll do another Constitution. Why not? Okay. Then I'm going to... Um... Um, 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 use a sorcery point to twin my firebolt. First one going at my boy down here. At uh, this. That's going to hit. All right. That plus a hex. 11 plus X. Yikes. And then our ugly dude over here is going to be the second recipient of some incoming fricassee. Does a 23 hit? It does. Thirteen points of damage. So a drum goes cross-eyed as these firebolts fi fly yeah, out of his fingers. <laughs> the firebolts fire come out of his fingers, his hands. Only, only... <laughs> no, 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 definitely <laughs> Yeah, no. Never go full retard. No, um, he basically... He, he basically goes like this with his hands. Um, and from that, like, he kind of does the... What was it? This ain't this town ain't the big, big enough for the two of us. <laughs> he goes like this, and it starts like uh, his glow. His hands start glowing, and then he kind of comes down and goes, oh, and he's got two fireballs, and he goes, bow, bow, and pew pew. Crosses. I love the role play. Now she's mocking me. No. Um, so, yeah, that's what happens. Okay. And that was your movement, bonus action, and attack. I all right El Chulo is going to close or close the dip or go underneath the water and then close the shadowy figure you watch Boris as it uh encroaches on you and then springs up out of the water yet again um and it is going to uh try did to uh attack he Boris what's up did you ever ready an attack yeah, I braced. Oh, I didn't even realize it came at me. I'm sorry. Yeah, so if you're bracing, then go for it. Yeah, yeah. Boris is like passing out, my dude. Yeah, he's, yeah he's dude. I, I am sorry, scary. guys. It's been one of those days. That's that's hey, why I'm hey, waking you're up. You're good, man. Thank you. Re Thank you real life happens. Real kill. life comes first. Oof! Hey, is 22 hit? Yes, it does. Oh, good. Hell yeah, brother. All right. So, uh, Gorthurst is, uh, matted in this, uh, bluish, uh, blood as it, as you, uh, slice into the softer part of its, uh, uh, belly. Belly. yeah, carapace, air, underbelly. Um, and, uh, it kind of, blows some uh, uh, frothy bubbles out of its mouth as it reaches both of its pincers towards you for an attack. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Oh god, it's casting bubble beam. Uh, 18 and 22. Uh, 22 hits. 22 hits. Okay. Hi, Grave. That just made me think. Do they not? Someone should make a uh, Pokemon D and D crossover. Oh, I'm already working on one. Awesome. I want to play it. So, grand total, that's going to be thirteen damage. As the pincer kind of, as you uh, leave yourself a little open uh, from your attack, and it kind of uh, pinches into your shoulder. 
actual solar pain. <laughs> Brings us to this Chuli Chew. Do it to it, Lars. And it closes the distance. I get an attack of opportunity. And so does Zuya yeah, from his appar distance. prepared attack. I don't get the multi, yeah, I just brother. get one, right? Yep, just one claw. Or a bite. It's going the distance. It's going down. That definitely hits, Hira. It's going for speed. Fast I, as fuck, boy. It's all alone. Oof! In its time of need. With a nat 20. Son of a bitch! You gotta love this game sometimes, my dude. So, stabbing it in its stomach with the tip of your halberd, Hira, um, it kind of uh, froths a little bit, Just and uh, Zoya, as it kind of gets closer, you bite into one of its many legs and uh, tear it off. Oh, wow. Have you, have you guys, or who hasn't seen what these tools look like? I looked at the thing, looked in the list, and looked I've at it. I've seen them before. Okay. Because okay. you, you shared it before. It's in our. It's in the list. Good, um, good, right. good. They oh, ugly motherfuckers. We, we fought them in a previous campaign, so yeah, they're just nasty lobster-looking people. Yeah, lobster, Crab shrimpy, kind of squid people. thingy. Yeah, Mixture it's this thing. Weird things. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, that's what it is. That ugly thing you said you two earlier. Yeah, that's what they're fighting. They're fighting two of them. Yeah. Yeah, I think I did uh, a good amount of damage on the one attack. Don't you think? <laughs> it's not bad. All right. Yeah, not bad. And with that, better. with the prepared action. Nimbus joins the encounter. I need in I need initiative. Hey. Dude, Nimbus got distracted at the top of the waterfall and then she heard he heard fighting and he just took a swan dive over the waterfall. Into five feet of water? There's a sign that blatantly says no diving. I don't think Yeah, but he's care. special. He can he can do that. He just special creates red. more water underneath it for himself. <laughs> just like it that. Look, it looks Or I know how to do this. Like with zero splash like an Olympic star. So just remember to click on your token and go then roll initiative. So it'll add it to the turn order. And with the way that uh prepared actions work, uh it moves you in the initiative order. So that puts Zuya next. Did he roll? I'm sure uh, I'm gonna oh, okay. right um, you gotta scroll nice. down probably. Okay. Wow. You just Woo! I mean, that's how prepared actions work. No, yep. no, I was making a joke. What's a Maybe joke? Starting off tonight with uh, with some with some skill. Even though technically I'm after Boris, it, it's boosting me up again. Yes, because that's the way prepared actions work. I think everybody but so me weird. tonight has already rolled a nat twenty. I'll have them. Excuse you. Eating so go ahead. Again? I need an attack, or I need to know what you're doing, Zoya. Uh, doing my multi attack. Go for it. Yeah, Nimbus has been, just been lazy, not doing anything so far. Yeah. Boris, you are next. One. Except for now, one of the initiative. <laughs> Claw attack for a twenty-one. That's going to hit, ripping and tearing. Continuing to rip and tear. Continuing to just demolish this thing. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to do this. Plus he gets 11. extra damage, right? Because both of his claws attack hit, he rolls 2d6 for a maul, yes. I mean, he also just gets... Because, like, the max or whatever. I remember he normally adds, like, two or three on. I remember the last time I felt a rip and tear. Wait. 17 oh, oh. damage? Holy shit. You basically <laughs> almost obliterate this thing, Zoya. Oh, druids. 
I don't like them. <laughs> all right. Do you want to move at all, Zuya? Um. Here we'll finish this guy off if you want to move. Sure. Okay, so you can take a guarded step or five foot and not a, not provoke, or you could actually like move and risk an attack of opportunity on you and Wub. I'm not gonna chance. Well, I'll take the five step on the other corner, but I'm not gonna a chance Wub getting an attack. Okay. So that's gonna put you ah stop shifting the tokens. God damn it. Whoa. I mean, that's accurate size for his bear, so that'll work. Yeah, he's yeah. gonna keep his bear token, though. There we go. Find a nice, pretty bear token. I have a bear token, but the thing is, is in order for him to be able to move it, I have to give him access to that token. Um, so if we well, ever run into bears, Ed would have control over all of them. Yes. <laughs> what if it's a special bear token instead of all the bears? I don't want any Canadian bears. Yeah, bears. Okay. Boris. Hello. I'm here yes. for fish. Hello. Give me strike. It is time for some murder. Please murder. That's gonna hit. You okay. murder just like your mother. I remember her fondly. I'm gonna roll for my second attack. Okay. Full round action. 16. Meets it, beats it. Hey. Beat it. Bitter, baby. Ooh, we. Yeah, Alright. I, I need a second. I might be able to pull something, some more bullshit off. So. Uh, go ahead. What kind of bullshit know. would you like to pull off? Um. No, no, it's good. I'm saving that. Never mind. Okay. Saving it. Saving himself for death. Hira. Oh my god, I forgot I gave you that armor. What armor? To Boris. His adamantine armor, which makes him immune to critical hits. That hits. Uh, the 11 doesn't hit, the 19 does. And how do you want to do this, Hira? Um, I'm not quite sure how one kills a chul. Be creative. Go nuts. So, with the first one missing, you kind of steal yourself, and uh, take another hefty swing towards its uh, skull, and with an upward strike, you cleave it clean off. Nice. And let's put the uh, hefty defty X on it. Uh, uh, no, how, Spuds. I'm actually how, using a uh, roll twenty. Nimbus is that thing, and is there another thing? There is another thing still alive. There's right? two things alive. Yes. Okay. Okay. There's the other tool, and then over here, there's a reaver. Um. Okay. The big thing that just died. How far away from that is Nim? Is it from Nimbus? Uh. Fifteen feet. Yeah, it should be only fifteen. Okay. Sweet. Yep. Uh, he has a reaction for this, then. Uh, the blood curse of the fallen puppet. Oof. Oh, fuck. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, I, uh, I want that to happen. Uh, what can... Amplified. It's... Here, let me... How do I... How do I send this in the thing? So, go to... Thing. Reaction... Um, there you go. There you go. I did it. Drops to zero. It. You can use your reaction to give that creature a final act of aggression. The creature immediately makes a single attack within your choice. Within its attack range, Ample, you can move the creature first up to half their speed. Is there... And there is no save to it. Okay. 
Yeah. So you could probably, you uh, probably hit the reaver. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Well, that's up 25 feet in air, though. Mm -hmm. This thing is huge. That's. It, it is. Uh. It's only about 10 feet tall, standing up on it, or standing up straight. Oh. I wonder if you could reach the other one with the half movement. It's got a decent okay. movement speed. Uh, This thing doesn't have difficult terrain. Mm -mm. It does not have difficult terrain, and it's got a decent movement speed. So, uh, this oh, yeah. reaver is going to... Uh, notch another spear and yeet it at Wub, trying to knock the small little thing off the big massive bear. Ah, and I just threw it off my dry tray. It's in that one. Uh, actually, uh, does a 22 hit? Nope. Holy crap. Not even close. Seriously? I know it hits. I can see your sheet. Zuya's, Zuya's head. I should, get like, 48. I should get at least like a plus 20 because I'm hiding behind a big <laughs> <Right>? fucking bear. <laughs> get his ad Yeah, there should be something. Cause... Wait, yeah, shouldn't he get a bonus because he's actually on me? Nope. nope. No. Don't worry like that. That, not... that sucks. No. So that is going to be 15 damage as the spear oh, comes careening. Damage. And kind of, or impales you. You're next, bitch. Ooh, woo. Let me move Nimbus in the appropriate spot. Wubba lubba keen eye. And I don't know if you right, heard me, Spuds, but yeah, this is a uh, roll 20. That, bitch. It's a free online thing. Um, It's roll20.net. <laughs> Uh, the reaver in the way back. And, and uh, my voice cracked. Uh, I believe that is still... You can import your own maps. Still. You can uh, import your own tokens and all that kind of good stuff. Create your like a certain number of character sheets. Or you can buy modules like I did for this one. Um, and it twice. comes with the handout. There's it comes with the maps and, and all that kind of good stuff with it. A 20 and an 18 both hit. So roll me the damage for the second one. Oh, 20 and an 18, or a 20 and an 18 both hit. Just roll me the damage for the 20. All right. Why did they come up different? And... I don't know. Where are you aiming, Wub? Um, because of the distance, um, center mass. So, uh, one hits in the stomach, the other hits dead center in the, uh, or in the heart. And again, she falls backwards and there's a lovely crunching and cracking sound as she falls 25 feet into the water below. There's a slight bubbling sound as the last breath kind of escapes her. <laughs> oh, the death chortle underwater. Chortle. I love that word. Technically, she drowned. She didn't die from your arrow, so, um, you know. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It is. St what else can you do, Wub? That's like someone getting hit by a car and then dying of COVID. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, no. I can only have them move me five feet. Never mind. I wouldn't be able to go to anywhere useful. Um. Oh no! I use my bonus action to uh, move that spell too. Yeah, that'll be the end of my turn then. Damn. All right. So Nimbus. Oh, Nimbus turn. Uh, was he able to make the other thing go attack the big thing, or was that? Yeah, that uh, that happens immediately. I forgot about that. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So okay, yeah. I... Yeah. So I, you, like went on to something else. I was like, wait a minute. My mistake. So uh, Hira, as you decapitate this tool, 
um, it f slumps into the water, and then Nimbus uh, casts a uh, quick spell, and these blood rule or blood runes uh, start crawling up its body, and this now headless chul lumbers over to the uh, other chul and attempts to uh, pinch it. Pinchy, pinchy. Chul out, man. Oh, oof. <laughs> oh, God. That was a good Stop roll. Stop being your dad. Stop, dude. I'm chul. I'm chul. I'm chul. I'm chul. So it does an amazing 12 points of damage to this thing as it yeah, chops some of the uh, tentacles on its face. I like to pinch. And as it pinches across the uh, or uh, across the other tool's face, it slowly begins um, sinking back down. Uh, the runes fade, and it just <laughs> into dirt, <laughs> into the dust. Thing just bowled all of us over. <laughs> it's right? technically a friendly target, so it can move through your squares. I don't know, but like, physically we'd all be like, oh, shit, make way. <laughs> Staring at Nimbus, wouldn't... we're like, uh, Nimbus? Technically, like... wouldn't I be bigger than this thing? No. If it's oh, only ten feet? Like... Oh, these are like giant creatures. You would be ten feet if you went on your hind legs. You'd be fifteen feet if he was... Or on your hind legs, but uh, yeah. you'd be about the about the size of them. Okay. Well, you'd be I'm about just the not... height of them, but if I remember right, aren't chules like both ten feet long and ten feet tall? Whereas bears are essentially ten feet long creatures. With his dire bear, it's fifteen, but yes. Yeah. Okay. Chuls are abnormal. They, 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 they're deceivingly massive creatures. They will fuck okay. you up very quickly. Okay. And it's actually Nemesis Turner. Yes. Okay. Cool. No, fuck you. Oh, okay. Is <laughs> uh, yeah, stretch. He's got thirty feet of walk. Oh, he can make that. Okay. Uh, Nimbus is gonna just saunter up to the other dude. Hey, never mind. I can't move him anymore. Wait. You gotta go back up to the uh. If you're on the uh. No, I got it. I got it. There you go. All right. He's, he's going to like, he's going to go right over there. And then that's only 15 feet. So he still has everything else. Okay. okay. Oh. He's going to activate his crimson right. Which is a bonus action. Okay. Two damage to yourself. Sweet. And then he's gonna so attack empty. the big boy. Sixteen hits. Sweet. Oh wait, he do it twice because he has two hit. That's a full attack action. Oh. But he has wait. He's got Like, if you're standing still. Oh, got it. So, um, 11 damage. Did and that roll with the Crimson Rite as well? It did not. So you have to roll the extra d6 for the Crimson Rite. And then 4 bleed damage... It has to make a constitution save in order to reflect it, and luckily it has disadvantage. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, the DC is 15. Yeah. Uh, it saves, 
actually. Poop. Wait, I'm worthless. No, that has the it has the the hex on it. Yeah, he rolled at disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never. Yeah. You said. Yeah. All right, and so an extra two damage. This thing is not looking happy. Also, wait, can Good. you... Go ahead. What, what's up, Nimbus? Uh, can you explain... Because he has an extra attack. Are you, are you saying that I can't use it? So, with... I'm thinking Pathfinder. You're thinking so, Pathfinder. Yep, okay. so yeah. Can't Go ahead. Use it. Yep. Okay, you, you did me a big scare. I was like, wait a minute. I did this last when time, you, though. When you yep. take your attack action, you can attack twice. Mm -hmm. Sweet. That hits. So that hits, right? <laughs> I was honestly on the same boat as Kyle. I actually forgot that that was just Pathfinder. Because in Pathfinder, you What can, you raging about? You can make multiple attacks, depending on what your bab is, but only on a full round attack. All right. So that's nine. And I have to I roll again we'll... for the bleed, right? I think with 5e, the only full round thing is you can make like an offhand weapon attack. God damn it. As a bonus action, I think. Nimbus, yeah. I want to give it to you, but like my my rolls, man. Uh, humble brag much? Right? Shit. Like, I'm sorry, I'm just so good sorry, at this I'm just game. Too good at... Yeah, exactly. Dice. Exactly. The dice we're, just love me today. I have killing you we're, guys. I have the where, where no one else can see it. It's just I'm just doing so well. <laughs> Kyle, Another kind of nat down? 20, you sorry piece of shit. Uh, here you go. Feel you see my dice tray now? Uh, yeah, we won't know the number. Yeah. As he picks up the, the all 20s D20. <laughs> it's just surprising. I don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs> all right. My turn? Yes. And just this one Crabbo is next? Yes. Left? Well, in that case, grab rave. Uh, for a bonus action, I'm gonna tick five damage right off the bat. Let me double check to see if it gone up with my level up, since I haven't used this in forever. The maddening. Shouldn't you hex... be using that on everybody? Huh? Shouldn't you be using it on everybody? Shouldn't be using what on everybody? Whatever you're about, <laughs> you're using. You're taking five damage. You said so, you haven't used it in forever. Yeah, because it takes a bonus action to tick. And the real benefit is that it can do like a little bit of splash damage. But nothing has been staying up long enough for me to ever have a free bonus action. Um, I'm sorry, I'll stop any... doing so much damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another <laughs> humble brag. Totally. Um, deal five second damage to the target cursed by your hex spell. Um, that you can see within 30 feet. Also, creatures of your choice within 5 feet of the cursed target. You have Boris, Hira, and Zuya on the front line. And then you have Wub, you, and uh, uh, whatever Eric's character is doing range. And then you got the blood right god Nimbus doing <laughs> stuff in the middle. Like, no one's standing a chance against us. I'm just saying. Okay, can I finish my turn? Yes. <laughs> Maybe that was like an, that was like an Avengers moment where like everyone stood up. It's like Zuya, we get it. We're all here. We see this. Are you sure? Okay, so five damage to the Crabble Lab. Is he still alive? Yes. Good. Now I shall cook him. Tasty. The bear's kind of full. Does a twenty-eight but he'll... hit? No, not at all. Ugh. Well, then I guess I'm done. That hits. I knew it did. Shut up, baby. I knew it. You uh, shut up. That's coming in at a 23 up, damage. Nope. How do you want to do this, John? Well, make sure Hira's not listening because you made fun of my RP last time. <laughs> um, okay, so um, there's some purple swirly things around this crab's head, and that's the hex and the maddening in it, and it looks like it's more distracted with the hex than the uh, the people that are currently Tom. at its feet. Yes. And um, as going on. a drum is um, cr 
creating another firebolt in his hand, he looks over at Zuya and he says, anyone can do a ton of damage. And he launches it directly into the open maw of this crabbo. And the eyes pop with the steamed pressure from inside of its head. It Im- immediately turns from green to red. Yep. <clears throat> Crab you- anyone? <laughs> Uh, he looks at a drum and just growls. <laughs> All right. That will be turn. And that is the end of that shul. And once again, to describe this room that you guys are in uh, for uh, the late arrivals, uh, this is, you're standing in a... Uh, or the ceiling in this room is large, uh, of this large water-filled cavern is about 30 feet above the water surface. In the middle of the cavern, there's two rocky plateaus that rise about 20 feet above the water. Um, atop each plinth, uh, used to be, uh, two, uh, slimy humanoids with tram- translucent skin. Um, and the water that you're standing in, which is about five feet deep, uh, flows uh southeast towards where you hear another uh thunderous waterfall yeah okay so what do we want to do how long have i been in bear form game time wise by this wise. by this point in this dungeon, it probably would have been about an hour and a half. Shit. Noticing that people have been taking damage, I am going to shift out of form and tell everybody to gather. I'm going to start healing people. <laughs> well, it just starts drowning. Here, he, he, <laughs> I was like, where's my I grab, I grab Wub and hold him above water. It's, you remember Hero, you can breathe underwater, right? Yeah, there Hero, is that, too. Hero will wave Zuya off and, and thank him, but say that she can heal herself. Well, it's going to heal everybody. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take some free healing. All right, all right. How much? Uh, let me cast it. Hit me with damn numbers. Hit me. With um, damn it's shot. mass cure wounds, so it's roll that shit, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. Fast as fuck, boy. Fourteen back to everyone. A wave of healing energy. Uh, did it pop up the description? No, no but I know no. what it is. Okay. That's 14 for everybody. Nice. Yep. Hey, Tom, you get 14 points back, bud. Oh, shit, thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tom's dying. Stay awake, Tom. I, it's been I'm a long day. Guys. I'm... Right. It's all right, buddy. It's all right. We love you, man. Do you have any you bang in see? the car? Or in, in the fridge? I, I just need to do a lap around the house real quick. He's got some bang, all right. I'm oh, starting to get tired yeah. myself, too, I'm not going to lie. Oh. All right. That's well, that, this... That, that's for everyone that doesn't know what it is. So this... uh, These strange vines start uh coming out of the water, breaking through the rock, uh, and kind of just wrap around each of you gently. And you feel the wounds that you've accumulated through here um, slowly begin to close as they drip this uh, almost sparkling nectar over the wounds. Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. But, so, we're gonna... What are we gonna do, guys? Well, if everyone's feeling tired, we should probably call it. Or did you want us to go further? Let's get to. Let's get in, this in next. Game, in game, we should probably take a short rest sooner than later. 
Okay. Traveling in, life, in real life, if you give me a moment to just do a lap and like the classic fuck the nut, I need to. All right. So snack. let's yeah, take a let's what, take five I real mean. quick. I, I need to go eat a snack. I'm sorry. Let's take five real quick and come back uh, and see how everyone feels. Uh, but at the very least, you know, the like I said, this is. Like I said in, in the chat, this is going to be kind of a short session because I want this next part, everyone to be here. Tom, make sure you have your phone on you, not on vibrate, just in case you fall asleep while getting a snack. No, 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 no. I'm just walking down the stairs. I'm imagining him face planting into the fridge, mouth open. <laughs> I can see him like putting something in the toaster. Then he just like sits down and he's zonked out in the kitchen table. I don't table. know if my camera will pick it up, but can you guys see the, the bandana tan line? Yeah, yeah there it is. <clears throat> But yeah, so everyone oh take God, five yeah. real quick, um, and uh, that way we can get to this next part, and then, like I said, we're probably, probably gonna... that means you too. No falling asleep there, brother. But... I saw you closing them eyes. It, make it a half of one at least, you know, get yourself some nicotine in. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right. So I talked to my 
spine slash pain management doctor today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because what we've tried so far hasn't been working. His next suggestion is a spine stimulator, which basically means a if well we have to run a test to see if it'll work, but it's basically a tens unit, but it, the hardware goes inside my body. That sounds painful. Yeah, I I don't know how I feel about it. Because it's still technically surgery, because it's, you know, opening me up and putting shit around my spine. Mm. But having a chunk of machinery in my body, and I guess my aunt had something like it before, and I guess there's a little button you press to turn it on to make the pain stop. But part of me is like, hmm, if it makes the pain stop, might as well try it, but like they're fucking with my spine, you know, things can go wrong. So I don't know. Well, I wish you luck on that. Yeah, I got a they want me to pick up a DVD to watch it to find out all about it before I, we start talking about it more. So, <laughs> Growler said, I mean, a couple thousand dollars to be a bionic man ain't bad. <laughs> I would love to have some pla or some parts of me replaced. Mainly only one. Yeah. And I'm going to be the, the cool guy and DM the rest of the session with my, uh, I'm going to arrest you sh shades on. With your stun of shades? Mm-hmm. I do have the handcuffs. Uh, you should never use real handcuffs. There could be nerf damage. Oh, don't worry. I don't care. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> My nerves aren't being damaged. Oh, yeah. <laughs> huh. When they handcuffed me, they actually had to use three sets. That is a lot. I've only ever been zip tied. Well, usually zip ties are, are for the quick crap's going down. We need to get you detained. Or if they're, you're part of a raid. Which leads me to my next question. Keegan. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever been raided by the police? <laughs> uh, No. I don't like how long it took him to say no. Yeah, legally legally he has to say no. No, I've only ever been to jail once. I've never been to jail. And it was for something that I didn't even do, but I sat in the fucking holding cell for 26 hours because uh, people are stupid. Sounds about right. Yeah, like, it, it was a, our sophomore year in high school, and uh, I was the... Uh, Edge Lord in the back of the room that fucking hated everybody, and uh, I was, or it was my math teacher. But or in this particular math class, like I slept through the entire class, but she would always call on me and get, and I'd still get the answers right, just because I had already been through that math class once before. Um, and uh, but uh. That, or a couple weeks into the school year, there was a uh, bomb threat at school. And uh, when we, you know, did the whole evacuation thing and we came back to class, um, one, of the, one of the other students that was also my bully in sophomore year, uh, until we got into a fight in junior year, and I fixed that shit, but uh, he... Uh, basically walked over to the or t to the teacher and was like yeah i think it was him and so she sent a, one of the or an i am to the principal and they called me up to the principal's office and there was about 10 10 police officers waiting there for me and took me immediately out of school put me in the cell and i just sat there 
until they did their investigation and found out that, oh yeah, you didn't do shit. Sorry, buddy. Eh. I got out of that math, math class. <laughs> much far away now. Hmm. I think Crowler is still uh, smoking part of a He's cigarette. Smoking, yeah. But we have John I Grave. I did need to just get up and walk around. And I feel so much better. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good, bud. Sometimes you need to do it. Oh shit! You really can see it anymore. Kaylee is playing with Bastion and out. Bort. <laughs> Sebi and Bort, two best friends in the whole cat world. Are we ready? Everybody back? No, uh, wait, non crawler to finish the smoke. I suggested you smoke half smoke, but not sure if you half, no, I've, half I've been listening. I have I have my headphones on. I was just playing with cats. I was giving you guys a show. He smeeks he smokes those uh he smeeks <laughs> those nasty one hundreds, so they take a while. Yeah. See that's why I stuck K on this, my sucky has sucky stick. Fans and it's all the cats. It's just me playing with the cats. Yeah. You need, I'm not even yep. in. All you see, all you see is. Her tagline is a girl playing with her dirty kitties, <laughs> her kitty, and I was like, "Oh, this is totally awesome!" It's just a bunch no, of no, cats. no, 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 this no, no. Exactly. It's, it's girl playing with her pussies. Yeah. Mm. Girl, girl with both hands on her hand on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to get banned here. <laughs> right. Oh, maybe you'll get more fans. You never know. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure you'd only get fans. Aha. Aha. <laughs> no, Crowler, you can't. Don't report me. You're in this too. <laughs> Crowley needs to get his booty back inside and play some more D&D. &D. <laughs> what? What's going on? Kristen, no! Don't do this to me! She gonna make you speak like a male again? No. She says, oh. un or, oop, unfriend, unfollow, block, report. I'm like, no! <laughs> Please, she's your number one subscriber. After me, of course. She was my first sub, actually. Uh, I'm talking about something different. My only feat? Cheers. My name is Jeff. Eh. Eh. Can I do this? No, I have to. There he be. All right, come back, Kaylee. Kaylee, come back. I was really just getting up to play with again. Kaylee, come back. You can blame it all on Crowler. He's done smoking, and now we're gonna kick some butt. And now Keegan's gonna be like, oh, guys, session over. We're all tired. Keegan, come back. We got some more D&D &D to play. Well... Now that I wasted three out two and a half hours on you guys to heal your asses. What? It doesn't uh, take two hours. It's an instant cast. No, I mean two hours of animal form. Ah. Okay, first off, not one of us said they needed healing. Yeah, no, I, but we you guys, fine. I was just being a smart ass. Yeah, so keep your ass to your smartness. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Take hey, that. Tom, okay. did you uh, add your uh, health points back, bud? I got 14. Yeah, or do 14. I get more? Oh, yes. no, I didn't, I didn't have my note. I didn't have my short rest. Right. Well, if anybody yeah. needs we did short more, rest, yeah. I, yeah. I still have a lot of points in my pool. Yeah, so you do get a short rest, and if you oh, want... short resting? Yes, I'll count our break as a short rest, and if you want to roll a hit die to get some more health, ba health back, you can. And anything that comes back by, by using a short rest comes back if only we had someone here with you know charismatic world words that could provide leadership in some sort of way while we're sitting around and and short resting 
here it turns around and says you got this and walks away <laughs> to give us some <laughs> sort of buffering towards the enemies that we're sure to face you know yeah that sure. would be cool if only there was that, that yeah, would be cool i stare hard at you that would be cool if someone did maybe you know a paladin or someone that had leadership capabilities mm -hmm. hero will give a, a rallying speech <laughs> oh that's so unexpected. <laughs> it's like, Tear be with you. And that's it. And everybody's like, who the fuck is Tear? <laughs> okay. So, so, since I'm level 9, we actually get 13 temporary hit points. Yes. Yum, 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 so, yum. go ahead and each of you add 13 additional temporary hit points. Sitting at 94 HP. Yay, yay. And Zoya, I believe one of your four, or you get another, or that. Yep. yep. Okay. I get it back. All right. So, party. What are we doing? Party, hardy. Um, we are gonna take a trip on our favorite Stop rocket doing. ship. Hey. Um. Yeah. So we keep moving south. Okay. So. And, uh. I might as well shift back into bear form so, uh. No, Bob why? Can... Yeah. We have other shoulders. Well, that's true. And can't you shift into bear form as a bonus action? Yeah, I can. Yeah, so don't waste it, because that starts your timer. Yeah, that's true. You but Gucci. It, well, yeah. He can. He can. He'll, he'll be fine. Yeah. All right, so we move down. Uh, do we check? Did we check the body of the humanoids? You did not, but they are uh, battered, broken in v many different ways um, from their uh, short tumble. Um, you do find uh, a the best way to describe it is scale mail. It's made out of fish scales. Um, there are, uh, there's a short sword and a shield. <laughs> Anything of value? Like, does it look like it's all rusted? Uh, should we take it to sell? Render it? I don't think there's an appraise, and yeah, there isn't. Hey, Crowler, you get, you might want to turn yeah, uh, your here. phone down. Oh, We're getting an echo. What? You might want to turn your phone down so it, uh... Uh oh. Yeah. Or go to, uh... Push I had my headphones on, I couldn't hear it. I forgot I left it on. We're stuck You're good. in a loop. <laughs> but, yeah, so... What was the question? Um, the loot. Does it look like it's, like not of quality like is it all rusted and dinged and broken or no there's some not quality like, items oh. all right um we should take it just to sell for and because like, kristen i want to look cool for this here did you want to write that down on our group loot i want to i don't want people to see my ugly face we have a group loot i, I don't have access to like any sort of like notes i thought we had um Right, you did, but it got deleted a long time ago by accident. Well, poop. Okay, never mind then. Okay. I think, I think uh, Eric keeps like handwritten notes. But... Mm-hmm. I'm looking like this so just in case I want to arrest somebody. Okay. All right. So we move to the next waterfall, I guess. Yep. All right. And as you stand on this uh, edge of the waterfall, um, the water here is a little bit uh, more shallow. Uh, it is only about two feet here um, before it topples over the edge. Um, and this is more of a slope than the other ones have been. Um, you know, easily just, you know... It's a big water slide. Basically. 
Um, and as you kind of look into the area, the mist is much clearer. Um, you are actually able to see into the center of the room. Uh, and what you do see is the makings of, or what looks to be an island out in the center of this area. And let me... That, that, that. Nimbus, that. Uh, you mentioned before you saw a large creature. Did you figure out what that was before you ran off? Absolutely not. No. See... When you mean... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, being from where I grown up uh you see big thing in water you go other way <laughs> i wasn't ending up at anyone's lunch mm -mm. when you mean big do you mean like massive like big creature we Listen, already underwater fought? creatures are terrifying we haven't explored like a tenth of the ocean i understand that i'm just saying we might happen upon it so if we could gleam any information beforehand that might be advantageous uh he was massive uh he also liked shipwrecks they it it they that's a fucking crazy. interesting uh, and that's, have... that's about all i can tell okay so how are we gonna get down this waterfall another rope anybody got another rope mine's all the way how... down there how deep is the waterfall? Like, uh, it's only just... you can see in several places. It's just sliding off the rocks, as you said, or, or as uh, Hira said earlier. It looks more like a slip and slide rather than a, a waterfall. Very pointy slip and slide, I'm sure. <laughs> Would not recommend. Um. Is there no way to traverse it without a rope? Could we like slide down it? Yes. Oh shit! Can the Nimbus just roll like check? sit down and just push off? Yes. And Nimbus, as you uh, sit down and just slide down without ease, it is a very uh, it's very fun. And you, Ugh. uh, Wee. you uh land uh effortlessly in a uh small uh puddle uh that the uh or that it kind of ends in and just to add this to the scene um yes it seems like this place is covered in water but at the moment you are standing on uh damp ground um hmm. <clears throat> and let me see. You make your way, the rest of you make your way down pretty easily. And let me find. I see something. Uh, I see something big. Nimbus, get back here! <laughs> just... Nimbus just dancing in the water. Nimbus! <laughs> you gotta die! Here, hold on. Stay with the group. Let's see. Put your hands out. Is this it? Yes. Yes, it is. And this is the image, or uh, the best description of what I can tell you you see. So, an island Balls. rises from the, uh, from the epicenter um, of three roaring waterfalls uh, in this area. Flutes of rose, ivory, and lavender uh, coral fr uh, and lavender coral fringe the island. Above the island floats a gigantic shimmering globe of water. Smaller globes of water emerge from it, drift outwards, and hover in the air a few feet above the surface of the lake. The uh, ambient light reveals the cavern ceiling of 80 feet above the island and hung count or and hung with uh, countless stalactites 
the cave floor gradually rises inward toward the island, uh, such that the water is, uh, about, uh, at this point, only about two feet deep at the perimeter, um, but the rest of the island stands outside, out of the water. And you do see a figure with his back turned to you with a trident in hand raising it or a, on the top tier turn uh looking at uh at the orb and you do I hear uh, yet. as you begin to approach with uh nimbus dancing in puddles and uh hero trying to restrain him <laughs> Uh, I'm not caring. <laughs> so strain this bitch. I will I will pull you back a little bit, Nimbus. I am sorry. And same with Hira. Uh at this point where both Hira and Nimbus stand, um the Alright, Nimbus, you easily recognize this man as Gar. Uh and all of you that have seen him before recognizes uh Gar, as he quickly turns and turns back to uh, the orb and begins, uh, he raises his uh, trident up and begins chanting a spell. At this point, let's see. This. This is not a spell of any of those levels. Damn. I have to make an ability check then. And the DC increases by 10 per how many times it's higher. No, it's 10 plus the spell's level. Give it a shot if you want to. Make an ability check using your skill cast spell casting. That's crazy. Big money, big money. Oh, it's pretty big money. Do we uh, know what language he's chanting in? He is speaking in deep speak. Pog. Um. And he is able to. Uh, you do kind of catch his tongue a little bit. But he saves, or he saves against it, and continues chanting. It's a big old spell. At this point, or at this point of the spell, a large, or a uh, wave of water uh, be uh, begins rushing out from uh, the orb, floating above the uh, above the spire, and quickly begins filling this room and oh, as the water man. begins raging in this area it coalesces into a water elemental and you see okay four or three large reptilian creatures oh, Torrent? begin moving their way closer and just so we can see what these look like. Are we going to wait for touring? This e seems like a pretty important part. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> pretty sure he said like five times that uh, we're going to be boned if we don't have a, the group. Here you now go, Kristen. Crocodiles. Can you imagine if Crowler, Nimbus, and Torn hadn't, or, and Eric hadn't come? It was just like three of us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Four of us were just like crying. But we, we, will, uh, we will see our way out. Uh, <laughs> sorry for any convenience. We're going to go ahead and. 
And then I can share this with you guys. Share it, senpai. Ooh. -woo. There what we the go. Hell is that? <laughs> it's a I shame you weren't closer to me man. here. All right. So the spell this guy's casting is higher than a tenth level spell. That's wild. Holy shit. And if you were closer, I could have cast Guidance on you. I don't think that would have helped, to be honest. <laughs> Unless it was like a meets it beats it situation, which I don't think it was. This is like a 20 level spell, dude. Yes, but Guidance, uh, you could add a d4 onto your roll. Okay. And so, with this opening up, Next session, we are going to be opening initiative. And that is where we're going to call it for this evening. Really wish I'd saved the Divine Dynamo. <laughs> Do you get it back for a short rest? Long rest. Oof. Unless the DM would like to favor me. I don't. <laughs> we're, already, we're already OP as fuck. We gotta okay. have some challenge. Every short rest, that would be OP as shit. That's why uh, elves are, especially as a Listen, druid, are nasty. We we are we are we are good. We're up for some fun. I didn't get damaged at all that last encounter. Oh, we'll fix that. I'm just saying. <laughs> I I have some healing. Here has some healing. If we really need it, Zuya can do some healing. Don't worry. Here has a couple of tricks up her sleeve. <laughs> Well, like yeah, I said, guys, purposely hurting himself. this is or this is the end of the session for this evening, and uh, I appreciate you guys coming out for a uh, episode thirty of uh, Princes of the Apocalypse. Next week will be episode thirty, part two, um, and we are gonna be Some seeing what happens. Thirty-one. No, I can't count. I can't count past four. I'm lucky I got to 30. <laughs> this would be, next one would be episode 31, down in the hole, part two. Or in the other hole. <laughs> Out but, of the frying pan, into the fire. But you guys have a wonderful night. Good night. Have a good night.